We have gotten a ton of questions about using original audios in Facebook Reels. What are they? How do you use them? How do you upload your own? Can you upload original audios with licensed music in them? And so on. Original audios can help you get extra reach, get monetized for publishing your reels and establish brand recall. So I'm gonna show you how it all works for both Facebook and Instagram reels in this video. So what are original audios? Original audio is unique audio you created either while filming your reel in the Instagram app or in your video you uploaded or a unique audio by another reels creator. When someone posts a reel with original audio, it will display their username. So when you upload a reel, you can upload it with your own original audio, with original audio by another Reels creator, or with audio from the Instagram or Facebook audio library using the audio tool in Reels. Now, a common growth tactic is to use trending audios, whether that's an original audio from another creator or a licensed song from the Reels music library. And that's a great tactic to get more views because your content is going to get served to a lot more people when you're using a trending audio. But so if that's the case, then what are the the benefits of original audios? Let me answer that question with another question. What if your original audio became a trending audio? When you post a reel on a public account with your own original audio, anyone on Instagram can record a reel using your original audio. So let's say that you own a pet food shop. Imagine if people started making more reels with your audio and thousands of people start seeing your shop name at the bottom of their screens. And when people tap on the audio, they'll see your post as the original. If you upload an original audio and it takes off, it has the potential to make your brand go viral. Now, if you scroll through reels in your personal time, you may have noticed that some people have original audios that have songs mixed in. I wish I could play you guys an example of what I mean, but if I do, then this video might get flagged for copyright. But basically you'll be watching a reel and the audio at the bottom says original audio with their username and it goes from them talking to a snippet of a licensed song, but then the song stops and it goes to them talking again, or maybe it plays a snippet of a different licensed song and then back to them talking, etc. Point being, they didn't select the song from the music library and then just add voiceovers to it. They uploaded an original audio file that already had those songs in it. How are they getting away without getting flagged for copyright? Are they monetizing those reels? This is what Instagram says. If you upload licensed audio as original audio, we may change the description to the artist's name and song. Licensed audio is copyrighted audio available on the Instagram audio library and includes things like music, movies, TV shows, and sound effects. All licensed audio must be attributed or linked to the artist and include the name of the track. Keep in mind that as we make sure to uphold our agreements with music rights holders, audio tracks in your post can become muted as a result of any changes made to these agreements. While the audio tracks of your post may be muted, your post can still be viewed. When we detect the audio you recorded or uploaded uses licensed audio, we'll automatically change attribution from original audio to the artist and song title. Your reel will be added to the audio page for that song where more people on Instagram may find it. So it sounds like worst case scenario, the name will get changed from original audio to the name of the song, and it'll be the equivalent of using a trending audio where your reel appears on that audio page. Now, I have to say, I have seen countless reels where it still says original audio at the bottom, even though they have licensed songs sprinkled all throughout. My best guess on how that's happening is that either Instagram and Facebook just aren't catching it, or maybe if it's under a certain amount of seconds, maybe it's hard for them to identify the song, that would be my guess. I know a lot of you have commented and said even if you select a song from the Reels Music Library, it still flags you for copyright sometimes, or no longer lets you monetize that reel, even though it's from Facebook's song library. It's incredibly frustrating and I totally get it. But so if Facebook and Instagram are getting tripped up on their own legally licensed songs, I highly doubt they would knowingly allow you to upload a licensed song as part of your own original audio. And for that reason, I would say just steer clear of uploading audio that already has songs in them. Now, I will say that if you feel like you just don't have the time or bandwidth to deal with all this and really put the time it takes into Reels to make them successful for you, you should know that we perform short video marketing services for small businesses every day, helping them generate views that lead to more customers. So if that's something that you're interested in getting a free quote for, I'll put our contact link down below. All right, now let's talk about how to upload original audio for Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels. It's a lot simpler than you might think. You ready? You just 
upload the video as it is. Truly, that's all there is to it. You'll go to upload a reel like you normally would, and if you don't know how to post Facebook Reels at all, you can watch this video next or this video if you don't know how to post Instagram Reels. But from there, you'll just skip the audio tools. Don't select a song to put with it. Just upload the video, and if you don't add any other audios on top of it, it will publish the original audio from the video. Or the other option with Instagram Reels is that you can import audio. So let's say you want video A to be playing visually on screen, but you want the audio from video B in your camera roll. Upload your footage and then hit the audio button and then tap import and then select the video that has the audio you want. This video will not be shown visually in the reel. You're just telling Instagram to pull the audio from it as your original audio. Now, how do you change the name of the original audio? Because if you do this often, all your videos are just gonna say original audio unless you change the name of them. Plus, if people wanna post a reel with your audio but didn't save it when they first heard it, they'll probably type in something that they know about it into the Instagram search bar to try and find it. Giving your original audio an appropriate name helps it get found more easily. On Instagram, you'll change it on the final editing screen before publishing. Scroll down and tap rename audio and change it to something relevant to the video that also doubles as something people would likely type in if they were searching for this audio. And be thoughtful about this because you can only rename your audio once. Now, unfortunately, the time that I'm filming this, Facebook doesn't have these same options. These are the options on the final end screen before publishing a Facebook reel. So for now, your Facebook Reels will have your name plus original audio. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated if that changes in the near future. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.